light just came on here. Lights are not on in the aviary yet. So, today is a big day. Um, when I labeled the last video the grand finale, I didn't really mean the grand finale. The lavenders have built a nest up there. I'll show you a video. Um, but I need to convert the bird room back into an apartment. So, as of Monday, it will be empty, except for the Peters twin spot parents who have two chicks. And so they need time to um, fledge and become independent. And then, wow, everybody's gonna go. Peters, everybody. I should clarify, everybody that can't share space peacefully in the aviary. The birds in the aviary will stay in the aviary for as long as I can. Um, which will be at least the summer. So, I had an idea. Good morning. They're over there. I put them over there this time because I knew I'd be here. Um, I've had many ideas. I think long term what I could potentially do is split off a chunk of the aviary. And if I had a little bit more time, and I might still try to do that, um, I'm thinking lining up with this pillar, kind of making that area um, a separate little flight. Gosh, I almost think that would be easier. The other thing I was thinking about doing is moving one of the flight cages in here. I've done it before when I had the um, chestnut breasted mannequins, and remember they were, they had built the nest and then they were taking over the entire aviary. They're like, nope, nobody can live here. So I was trying to convince them to um, breed their uh, build their nest inside the cage. Then I would open the door and uh, thinking they would defend only the cage area. Remember that? It didn't work as a thought process, but I thought it was worth a try. Amos. They all have a little bit different songs. Okay. So moving the cage would be sort of quicker. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. Something. I'm going to do something today. I got to get as much done as I can.
So the net effect is that um, I tried moving a cage in here to be able to put some of the birds that can't mix, particularly in the breeding season. And uh, I just hated it. So what I'm doing sitting over here is looking around to see, I think, I think I have a good idea. These are old uh, shelving, modular shelving units that I bought from our old hardware store when they shut down about like, I don't know, 15 years ago maybe. They've been sitting in the crawl space and they were a perfect fit, sort of, for uh, sliding in the end panels of my cages. And they are like custom designed for a modular flight divider.
that would be just about perfect, just like that. What do you think of that? Well, every, I think every one is going to be a one-off, as you said. Well, these two can be a triangle. This one's going to go from this beam to there, so there's going to be a spacer that I have to build. It's no big deal. I can visualize it. And then this one will be a square, just basically another. It might, I might even get lucky and can use the top of yeah. one of the other ones it's hard to, tell. to close. What do you guys think? Hi, what do you think? I know, guys. Search your other speaker. Oh, yeah. I like it, Dad. I think, I'm, I, think I have a. I think I can probably finish this. This one is all but done. I just, we're almost done with it anyway. So, and then I think I can finish this top. I might be able to finish it. I, I gotta do this piece still, that warming area. <clears throat> I gotta pull that panel in, but I have a, I'm gonna pull this, this panel out so I can cut a little door. And that's not a big deal. I just have to trim the caulking out. Yeah, okay. Now this will be, then they'll come, the birds there can get into here. Into the bottom one, yep. If it, if it gets too cold. Yep, and the, and the birds on this side go into the top one, which is already set up. Yeah. And then I just have to set up feeding in two places, which is not a big deal, obviously. Peep, peep, pipe, pipe. And, yeah. Okay. Finish the bottom. Okay. Those are the two female twin spots and the female gold breasted. <laughs> and they like worms. They like to perch on the edge. Yeah, they're after the worms that are in there. That's the little one. That's the female gold breasted wasp. <laughs> twin spots sing it away. That's the lavender finch. Oh, that's a nice view of town. Mm. That's the male. And that's the male twin spot. That's Amos that's sitting on the on the, group, on the edge as well. Everybody's hungry. We should probably give them a little break. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Do I need this out there? Not right now. I'm gonna grab my coat. Thank you for your help, Dad. Oh, I did help. Well, actually, that panel is a little bit of a pain to try to do. Oh, that would be awful. Awesome. Yeah. The first two took me a while. It can be joined to any surface, any face of this pillar. Right? Yeah. So it could, for example... What I'm trying to avoid is see those structural... Um, yeah. I don't want to cut around those, so if I could either go, ouch. If I could either go to this surface without interfering with the door. Well, you could do it. But you could go down to the... Or I could go to the inside. Actually, I can't go to the inside surface. Yeah, it can go lower. Well, I'll see, but then there's this rock here. The rock is there. Okay. Let's just get this and get rid of the grassy stuff for a minute. Okay. You got it? Thank you. All right. I don't want to squish you too, too much. But I want to come inside the light or with the top. So I would actually prefer that it comes here. And that's 
That might be good, actually. But yeah, that would work, yeah. Because that will, that will come and join. And then you've got, yeah. you have to make that special anyway. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's good. I do too. Let's see. So I need a hinge. And where did I put the uh, drill? Is that behind you somewhere? Yeah, that's on the floor yeah. over there. Thank you, Adam. Okay. And can you just stabilize that so it doesn't tip? That's going to be fine. Okay. Let's see now. Let's see. I'm going to leave that a little bit loose so we can wiggle the angle a little bit if we need to. Okay, so that's locked, and I think I probably now should try and do these guys, yeah? And now I'll finalize that hinge yeah. on the other side. Uh, okay. All right, you can sit. Let me hinge his head. Good. Sit, relax. How does it look from it looks good. from that side? Um, it looks like you're gonna have to pull that. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and see how this. Ends up. I don't mind if it this. I think this board is warped. You can see it's got a. Yeah. So I don't mind it's too if it's too tight at the top. As I left that one loose to see if it's gonna resolve itself somehow. Okay. Well. Okay. So it did force a little bow in this guy. But that's fine. That will get secured at the top anyway. Wow. I like it. Do you like it? Yes, I do. But look, see how nice this will be? Like I'll just come in and whatever. Whatever I need to do. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's very nice. I'm looking for worms again. How's the view in there, Daddy? Very comfortable. Do you have room for a bath? If you were a little bird? Oh, yes. If there's some water, I bathe. Nice. There's no water. There should be water in the little pool right over here. No, basically no water. Well, there's water. Oh, I mean here. Yeah, that runs that. I'm going to put in um, a couple more pools, but I have to get the epoxy, you know, to make that. Yeah. But as long as they have a little water right over here, the end of this little pool, that's good. Yeah, I got to plug these holes. I can't move birds in yet. That's ridiculous. And I haven't done the warming area, but it's almost done. Yeah.
um, I need to empty this because I'm going to protect the metal grating at the bottom of this division with the epoxy. Um, because it's an irregular surface, I need to, you know, I couldn't cut the wires exactly right, so I need to plug the gaps and also make sure that whatever's in the water is inert and this stuff will rust. And I'm not really sure what it's going to do to the water downstream. And I need to epoxy in a barrier, a couple of dams, so that there are some pools on that side. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Bugger, get out. Oh my god. All right. Deal with that later. Why? Why? Dude. So the warming area is now two, two cages, two bottom halves of my standard cages. <clears throat> and the first one opens, well, the bottom one opens into the new space and the top one opens into the existing space, which it always reused that same door. All I had to do is pull some plexiglass and open a pass through into the new uh, cage and it works great, fits pretty well. I had to do a little tweaking, but It's not very deep. It's not bad. You want some neighbors, you guys? Once I let them in. Okay, I should probably get another feeder. In the water. Alright, let's do that first. Okay, you two guys are first. That's Luce and Bud. They're gonna go into the main aviary with the other two pairs of twin spots. Let's go get them. Twin spots with babies. Empty, 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 empty. Quiet. Hi. So 
Oh, that's a new pair of, not a new pair, but a pair of uh, black cheek wax balls. Those guys are the babies. I think, and one of the import males. Yeah, that's one of the, that's the import male, purple. Those are the ba two of the babies. Hey, you're pruning the wrong species there. You guys, there's a door like 11 inches by 13 inches right next to you. You're the same birds that snuck out of a little tiny door that I left open. Why don't you go check out your space? Hi, Mama. Yeah, hi. Can I look at your babies? There's the babies. I believe it's a male on the left and a female on the right. Where's Daddy? Well, as I'm editing the video, these guys have moved to their new home. And the basement slash bird room is empty. And is getting cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and reconfigured and put back into its original configuration. It's, um, it's about 7.30 in the morning. It's already warm enough that the heater is turned off in here. Did I mention I don't love Australian finches too much? Uh, okay, so everybody's in. I've just wrapped up filming some of the new additions that I had committed to uh, early in the year to, to help out a friend of mine. And they're now in the aviary. And so I'll show you a video of my new arrivals. And... Um, the reason I have been holding off on publishing this video is I think it's the last one. Now that everybody's settled and in the aviary, I don't foresee any anything really helpful or interesting to share other than I'm sitting here on my new bench, which is working out great, watching my birds. So I'll take the opportunity to thank everyone for um, watching the videos, commenting, uh, sending me tips and ideas, uh, and sometimes encouragement, and hopefully the purpose of the channel, which was to document what it's like to keep finches, or can be like, or is like for me, I guess. Um, I, th I think I've done that. Right? I can't think of anything else useful or helpful that I might be able to share. So, um, yeah. So stay safe and enjoy your birds. And thanks for watching. Thank you.